medial border of the scapula, um, lateral border of the scapula, underneath is the subscapular fossa. Um, going back to the inferior angle, medial border, find the root of the spine of the scapula, follow it laterally to the flat part, which is the acromion process. Spine of the scapula, if you go superior to the spine, supraspinous fossa. Find the spine of the scapula, my fingers are on it. Inferior, infraspinous fossa, is this whole entire area. Going laterally to the acromion, um, falling forward, the, this is the clavicle, so acromial clavicular joint is right here. Following the clavicle medially to the head of the clavicle. This is the sternum right here, so this is the sternoclavicular joint, and you can have the patient shrug their shoulders, and you'll feel the clavicle slightly move very subtly underneath your fingers. Good, bring them back down, relax. Following the clavicle laterally, drop anterior to the acromion process to the coracoid process, and you'll feel a tender divot inside that's usually tender on patients. Um, you can relax your arm. Uh, have the patient bend their elbow, find the acromion process onto the humerus, palpate the greater tubercle, uh, intertubercular groove, and underneath is the lesser tubercle. Have the patient externally rotate their shoulder and you'll feel the lesser tubercle underneath my ring finger pop out and roll under. And you can have the patient abduct their shoulder, yep, and you'll see Right here is the deltoid tuberosity where the deltoid insertion is. So this is the olecranon process. Uh, flexing the elbow, go a little bit proximal, and that's the olecranon fossa. As you extend their elbow, you'll feel the process sliding into the fossa. Going laterally, so these are the epicondyles, lateral epicondyle, and on this side is the medial epicondyle right here, me, uh, lateral, medial. S going superior are the supracondylar ridges on the humerus. Shaft of the ulna is over here, distal, head of the ulna, and the styloid process is this protuberance right here. So the head of the ulna is here, styloid process. Same thing for the radius. This is the radial shaft. Radial head is on this side, and the styloid process of the radius is right here. So you can feel the carpals move underneath. It's very subtle. So these are the styloid, and you can flex, extend, mm -hmm. laterally deviate. This right here is the pisiform. Find the styloid process and go a little bit distal. The hook of the hamate, if you want to locate the pisiform, draw an imaginary line to the index finger. The hook of the hamate will be right here. So this is the pisiform, imaginary line, hook of the hammy. Very difficult to feel because there's a lot of palmar fascia right here. Here are the metacarpals. And then the phalanges. And then there's the base shaft head, base shaft head, base shaft head on each of the interphalangeal joints.